the following chemical energetics question deals with uh, Hess law and the question states that the enthalpy change of combustion can be used to determine the enthalpy changes of formation. Uh, the following equation represents the enthalpy change of formation of butane. So this is your equation where carbon is reacting with hydrogen and is producing butane. So uh, the question says that by using the following standard enthalpy change of combustion data, which is the value of the standard enthalpy, what is the value of the standard enthalpy change of formation for this reaction? So we need to, we need to find the enthalpy change for this reaction. So uh, it's completely irrelevant. Uh, never get confused uh, by the terms enthalpy change of formation etc what uh, the question basically wants uh, you to calculate is the enthalpy change for this particular reaction which is the enthalpy change of formation of butane where one mole of butane is formed from its constituent elements now uh, we need to find the enthalpy change for this reaction and the information that's given to us is the enthalpy change of combustion of carbon so enthalpy change of combustion of carbon is given its value is given it's uh, minus 394 kilojoules per mole uh, then you're given the enthalpy change of combustion of hydrogen as well, uh, which is minus 286. So that is known, the enthalpy change of combustion of hydrogen. Similarly, you're also given the enthalpy change of combustion of C4H10, which is uh, butane. It's given as minus 2877 kilojoules per mole. So the enthalpy change of combustion of butane is also given. So if in a reaction... You're given the enthalpy changes of combustion of reactants and the enthalpy changes of combustion of products. So you can apply a simple formula to figure out the enthalpy of that particular reaction. And that formula is that the enthalpy of a reaction is basically equal to the sum of the enthalpies of combustion of reactants minus the enthalpy of combustion of products. So I'm going to sum the enthalpies of combustion of reactants. Let's uh, try summing them up. So my reactants are... There are four carbons, so this is one of my reactants, and the enthalpy of combustion of one carbon is minus 394. So for, so for four, it's going to be minus 394 multiplied by four. My other reactant is I have five hydrogen molecules, and the enthalpy of combustion of one hydrogen is given as minus 286. So this would be multiplied by five because I have five hydrogens. So it's going to be minus five into uh, 286. So these are my reactants minus my product in this case there's only one product which is c4h10 only one molecule so for butane it's given as minus 2877 so that's uh, minus the enthalpy of combustion of my product which is minus 2877 uh, remember to put the brackets and be very careful with the signs of the enthalpy changes so there's only one enthalpy change whose uh, sign would switch because uh, two minuses are going to make up they're going to cancel each other out. So I'm going to now solve this on my calculator. And the answer that I get on my calculator for this is coming out to be minus 129 kilojoules per mole, which is going to be option B. So you all the enthalpies of combustion of reactants and the enthalpies of combustion of products. So what I did is I uh, used this formula enthalpy of combustion of reactants minus the enthalpy of combustion of products. If you subtract, take out the difference, uh, that would be the enthalpy of this particular reaction over here, which is uh, four carbons plus five hydrogens produces T4H10. And the answer is option B.